Hello! Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how I made this miniature diorama of a spider and its nest with eggs. I had this small toy spider for a while and I decided I could use it with uh, some beads for eggs. So I'm just uh, cutting some foam board um, and sticking it to some cardboard for the base. Um, just using PVA glue and trimming off the excess. And I also have this um, sort of um, recycled paper um, form from some packaging and I thought it would be like the perfect dimension for a pit for the eggs. And I'm using the leftover uh, foam board to build up an elevated region on the base. And I just cut little pieces to sort of block out the shape um, of the terrain. I'm just using hot glue and not being very particular about um, the finesse of this because the point is just to have the bulk. And I'm also using up those leftover um, recycled paper pieces because they have a really nice texture and it will be um, quite nice on the ground. After that I am going to be using some air dry clay and fill in all the gaps and shape the terrain with my fingers. As I go along I am wetting the surface and my fingers as well to uh, first of all, make the clay adhere to the dry surface and keeping my fingers moist keeps it from sticking to my fingers and it also helps with smoothing out the clay onto the surface. When I filled in all the little gaps, I left it to dry overnight. I want to add some ground texture, so I made a very liquidy mixture of PVA glue and water and I'm adding um, some ground scatter. It's a, actually a nice brown color um, but I'm going to end up painting it in the end. So uh, I'm actually spraying with some isopropyl alcohol to lower the surface tension and I'm painting over the same mixture of PVA glue and water. When that has dried, I'm using two colors of brown acrylic paint to cover the entire surface and I'm just working the two colors in uh, straight onto the piece, um, kind of mixing them. For the next stage, I'm going to be using some cork pieces and uh, some tile grout mixture and I'm going to make these little clusters of rock so that there is a little bit more interest on the terrain and have a more texture. Um, I'm just spreading little scoops of the tile grout mixture and just pressing these pieces of cork into it. And I just, tr I'm trying to form sort of random patches so that it doesn't look like there's a pattern. When that has dried, I am of course painting them again with the same two brown colors that I used for the ground and I'm just working it in, sort of still mixing the color uh, right on the piece. And of course, this time not forgetting to paint the edges so that it looks nice and tidy. When that is dried, I am using a very light gray to dry brush all over the surface to sort of highlight all of the raised areas. 
uh, this makes it look a little bit too ashen but this is not the final paint job and I am adding the eggs now for the eggs I'm using some beads that I previously painted with some acrylic paint and shellac ink and they form these little neat little clusters that made it even easier for me to attach them but there there are a lot of them that are still loose so I'm just um, putting them in sort of like an organic random fashion um, if the spider laid its eggs it would be something like that when uh, the glue has dried I am just using some off-white uh, paint to color the eggs because I wasn't pleased how dark they were I wanted them to stand out more from um, the terrain and now I'm using a very light green to dry brush some patches on the ground for some color variety and now I'm using an orangish yellow miniature wash all over the terrain and the eggs and this uh, brings everything to a much warmer tone and all of the highlights that were harsh from before now just work as highlights I wanted to add some little patches of um, foliage and I'm just using a PVA glue and this ground scatter that has different things in it um, from uh, artificial moss to actual um, like tiny tiny twigs and it's just a custom mixture I get rid of the larger pieces as I go but I press on firmly um, the ones that I want to stay and I use the same method from before of soaking it with isopropyl alcohol and then um, brushing over with a thinned down PVA glue to make sure that all of the pieces uh, will stay in place and not go anywhere uh, now it's time to paint the spider so it comes in this uh, not the worst <laughs> paint job of green but it looks like a plastic toy and I want to make it a little bit more realistic so I am first just base coating it in a black acrylic paint. When that has dried, I pulled out some miniature paints and some detail brushes um, because I want this to be more of a delicate and accurate paint job. So I put on a light coat of uh, brown and I am putting a black wash over that. Uh, this gives it some depth and that wash um, pulls into the crevices between the legs and the torso so it makes it look more realistic. So I'm starting out with a very bright red um, to block out the areas that are going to be reddish and I'm being careful um, because I know that these blocked out areas are going to stay the same by the end of the project. Uh, when the red has dried, I'm using a very brilliant copper paint. Um, all across the red areas and it made it super super shiny and metallic it is a beautiful look but it didn't look natural so I took some um, 
blue and then later green to dry brush all over and tone down that metallic color a little bit and it also made it look like a little bit of tarnished bronze which i was very happy with and to uh, bring it back to a warm tone i'm using the same um, yellow miniature wash as i used on the terrain piece and of course i'm painting on the two black little eyes it's already starting to look cute to bring those stripy segments back to life i am using more of that black wash to paint over the black segments and I think I put some wash over the abdomen of the spider as well. So for the terrain piece I want to have a sort of um, tropical jungly feel so I'm using these um, miniature plastic plants and of course uh, going about the business is cutting off all the excess flashing from the molding. I'm using an olive green uh, paint um, to paint over the majority of the surface of the plastic plants but I'm not killing myself trying to get into all of the nooks and crannies. A little bit of color variety will actually make it look a lot more realistic and to attach everything I am using hot glue and I'm just trying to decide the position of where everything goes I wasn't sure about the spider either at this point so I'm not gluing it down until closer to the end and I've um, cut apart some of the clusters of leaves making smaller ones and I'm use also using these um, miniature trees. I'm just cutting off um, bits from the branches. Um, they're supposed to be some sort of fruit trees in bloom, but I think they look really well as some sort of tropical flowering bush at this scale. And I'm also attaching some more of those individual leaves that I cut off earlier from the larger clusters. I'm also using some preserved moss. Um, this is a natural material and it has gone through um, certain process of drying and preserving um, it doesn't lose color over time um, it is very detailed though because it's it's real plants it's actual moss so it looks really really good at a miniature scale so i'm just filling in um, the terrain with um, these moss pieces um, making the clusters look more interesting and the vegetation more varied. As I go along I make decisions about what goes where and this is a really fun part of the project and um, when I'm done with the larger pieces I go to using uh, static grass stuffs I'm using a variety of them um, in different sizes and colors. Sometimes I'm cutting them apart to use parts of them. And I'm using a lot of these to hide um, a lot of the over spillage from the hot glue of attaching things. And they also make really nice smaller clusters. I'm trying to find exactly where the spider should go and when I've decided on its final position I'm just uh, gluing it down with a small amount of glue. So 
So when all my vegetation is done, I'm going to be using some polyfiber um, Halloween decoration leftover. So I'm going to use some of that uh, artificial um, spider silk to recreate what I imagine would be a spider environment. There it is, my piece is done and my little mama spider with its baby X has a home. I've attached some photos uh, now at the end of the video so you can have a better look at the details. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. And please do let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear some feedback. Um, if you'd like to see more of the things that I make, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot more projects uh, coming. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.